Hey, it's Josh, and I'm back for episode two to talk about the first 24 hours of taking nootropics. So how do I feel? Not that different. Uh, let's talk about what I did take and how I did feel. Uh, last night at about 12.50 a.m., I took an EFA, 500 milligrams of aniracetam, and 125 milligrams of choline CDP. I went to sleep shortly thereafter, and I remember looking over the clock at about 2 a.m. feeling very awake. Now, I'm not sure if I had been awake that whole time or if I just woke up around that time, but that makes me think that it takes about an hour for this these supplements to kick in. Now, I didn't have any vivid dreams uh, that night, but I wouldn't recommend taking it before going to bed only because of the waking up in the middle of the night, which to me is not preferable. Uh, when I did wake up at 6, 6.30 in the morning to my alarm clock, I felt more, I felt very analytical and I felt easy, it was easier for me to get up than it normally would have been, particularly for that short amount of sleep. Uh, but even though I felt like I could get out of bed, I still stayed in bed just as long as I normally would have, which is probably too long. And then when I got up to get ready for work, I moved around just as slowly as I would have. So I didn't feel any real impact to my mental state other than being a little bit more awake than I normally would have been. Uh, I would say that when I got up and went to pee in the morning, I noticed that, with, that it was yellower than normal, which made, made me think that maybe these uh, racetams or the choline is eating up a lot of the water in my body and I'll need to hydrate more. I did look into that um, on, online and discovered that, yes, because of the extra chemical reactions caused by these nootropics, you do require a little bit more water. So that is something to note, is just to drink a little bit more water when taking nootropics. Um, other than that, uh, throughout the day, I had, at three separate occasions, I took the same thing, EFA, 500 milligrams of aniracetam, and 125 milligrams of choline. I took those at 7.45 a.m., uh, 1 p.m., and 9 p.m., and no real noticeable effects. I did have two cups of coffee. Uh, two cups of coffee during the day and that didn't really seem to have an effect either. In fact, a midday around 3 o'clock or so, I uh, went to take a nap. I was very uh, tired, which may just be because I didn't get enough sleep. So I haven't really felt any impact from the racetam or the choline uh, or the EFA, EFA for that matter, uh, but I have heard that it can take about three days to kick in. So that's the first 24 hours. I will keep you up to date in episode three about where we go from here and what we feel from here, if anything. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.